Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. We're gonna do a really quick redshift tip today. I'm gonna to show you how to texture two sides of an object. So we have two different textures here and in regular Cinema 4D, what you would do is go to these textures and go to the side and you would change one of them to front and the other tag you would change to back. And if you look at to the left here on the Cinema 4D side, you can see that if I rotate this, we're getting two different colors on the front and the back. But if you look at the Redshift side, um, both are yellow. So this is not being calculated properly in Redshift. So let's delete that yellow one and let's open up the blue texture. We're actually going to mix two textures inside of here. All right, so for the front and the back, they're going to be image textures. And I went online and I found a free pack of playing cards here. And these have an alpha channel. So we'll just drag these two, one back and one jack into here. These are gonna come in as image textures. And we're gonna need two RS materials. So let's click on this and hold control and drag and drop to make another copy. And we'll drag the first texture into the base properties, diffuse and diffuse color. And we'll do the same with the second one into that other material, diffuse color. All right, so now that we have our two textures in here, we need to have one be the front and one be the back. And we're gonna do that using a ray switch node. So type in ray switch and drag that in here. And we're going to pipe both of these materials into the ray switch. So we'll go to the out color and we're gonna to go to camera, camera color. And the second one goes to camera, camera color back. And then we'll take this ray switch and we'll pipe the output into the surface of our output. All right, so in the ray switch, we actually have to turn it on and we're gonna do that by enabling front and back. And I think we might have to refresh here. We'll see if that'll work. All right, so we have our card here and the jack is backwards, but we can easily flip flop that by going to the scale and the length and just hit minus 100. That'll flop our jack. And now if we spin this card around, you can see that we have the back and the front and they are two different textures, which is perfect. All right, so the last thing we have to do is we have these really sharp corners here because this is a plane. We have to punch out the alpha channel with the rounded corners, and we're going to run this whole setup through a sprite node. So if you don't know what a sprite node is, it's basically just a way to define the alpha channel. So we'll type in sprite node, and we'll pull that in here. So we'll take the ray switch, and we'll drag that into the shader input, and then the output of the sprite will drag into the surface output. All right, so in this sprite, we just have to define where our alpha is gonna come from, and we'll do that in the path here. Now, all of these images are PNGs and they have an alpha channel, so we'll just drag and drop one of these into the path. And the last thing we have to do, you can see it got a little janky here. We have to change the opacity calculation to from color intensity and change that to from alpha. And it's gonna look a little weird. That's just a little glitch. If you hit refresh, it'll punch out that alpha just perfectly. All right, so now we have that nice rounded edge. So there you go, just a really quick tip on texturing something in Redshift so it's different on both sides. Hope you guys found that useful. And one last thing, if you're a Redshift user, make sure to check out our Redshift Mutating Materials Pack, the Metal Edition. The world is full of beautifully aged exotic metals and you can nail that perfect patina using the 10 base metals that have varying levels of decay in this pack. Don't waste your time building all these elaborate shader nodes when you can just grab the perfectly aged texture from this pack and hit render. Learn more at thepixelab.net. Thank you for your support and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.